Did you study minimalism? You did? When you look at an abstract painting, you look at the different colors, yes? Yeah? And one color may be a nine, and one color may be a four, and one color may be a two. But when you look at this, it's all rectangles, yes? So no one part is more important than the other. It's all the same, whether it's a rectangle, a circle, or a square. So again, the New York um, market, which I equate is a lot of the market, they say, we can't hang a circle on our wall or a square. What are our friends going to say? They'll say we're a little bit crazy. But what the theory of minimalism is that no one part is more important than the other. You can't like a circle, one is a five, one is a two. It's all the same. You might say it's all zero, or you might say it's all ten. But here's what Judd did. In order for him to feel in, that he was doing importance of work, he decided that he no longer was going to be a painter because he said, I can't paint better than Pollock, I can't paint better than Roscoe or Newman or Gatuni. So I'm not going to paint anymore. He, was, he felt he was not doing what was important as a painter. So he said, I'm going to do sculpture. And why he's going to do sculpture is because he eliminated the boundaries. And so you didn't end this work. This is six pieces. This could be 10 pieces. This could be 20. It could be two. He eliminated the boundaries in a circle. What was more important to him was what was beyond the object. The wall, the lighting, that became the environment of the work. And he said, this is what I want to do, and he became a sculptor. I want to deal in space. He said, when you do a painting and you put a frame around the painting, the frame no longer is neutral. You may have a painting, you may go to a framer and say, hey, frame this thing. It is no longer neutral because the frame restricts the painting's edges.